All right. Well, good afternoon. Oh, we just lost Steve Isaacs. We thought we had a quorum and we've just <laughs> lost our quorum. This is, and, and Steve, it's funny. Steve says streaming is easy. Hey, I'll Steve. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, we're back for good game. Afternoon. Oh, we just lost Steve Isaacs. We thought we Thanks, buddy. Streaming is easy. Streaming you know what? The, it, literally the last thing that Steve Isaac said before we went on air was streaming is easy. I did. Uh, and I believe that he just proved yeah. that it's actually You know what? Not. So, yeah, you're right. I, <laughs> I was, I'm watching, like, I have StreamYard open and my thing stopped at, like, when the countdown was 28. So I don't know if what happened there. So I wanted to refresh it and that <laughs> oh, just funny. booted me. But I have a story for you actually um, that kind of goes with this SEL stuff that we're doing here. So right before this stream, I was almost going to have to, to, uh, to back out. Layla comes running downstairs and this is not the first time this has happened. And she said, there's a bat in my room <laughs> and which was true. And there was, so there was a bat in her room and I had to get up here to set up for the stream and I, I'm, you know, I'm deathly afraid of, of these bats. It, 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 we, this is our third bat incident in our house and none of them, you know, really um, made me look, uh, you know, very uh, brave, brave. <laughs> so eventually um, I, I, you know, we opened the door. I came upstairs. I came into this room where I'm streaming from and the bat was in here. So I quickly left this room and and in as brave a way as I could, I hid in the bathroom. And then I opened the door briefly and the bat was right out front. So I like slammed the door and luckily it must have just done enough to scare the bat right down the stairs and right out the front door. And, you know, Layla then came in and uh, we had to have she had to be on watch because we had to make sure the bat actually got out of the house and all. So um, it was an exciting uh, yet stressful uh, lead in to our stream today. Right. Awesome. Well, this is episode two. Um, welcome to it. Uh, Steve Isaacs is going to play today. I am. Which is exciting. He's he's at almost the same spot that w we left off. Um, and uh, we're joined by uh, by Zach again. Uh, thanks for joining us, uh, Zach Hartsman. Thanks for joining us again, Zach. Of course. This is exciting times. Yeah, yes. and just to recap a little, and I think I am right around where you were. If I remember correctly, we ended with you in the diner enjoying not so great pizza, but as long as it's not bad pizza, it's uh, good. Sure. Is that how it went? Something yeah, like that. We, we, we just ended finding a severed arm. Oh, we ground. did find the arm. Okay, well, I have found the arm also. And we probably poked and prodded it with a stick, maybe? So we didn't play with it yet. We actually oh, we didn't we play saw, it. We saw it and we had stopped. So forget that I said that. So I I believe that I might have, and I think if I go into my journal or whatever, you'll see kind of how that played out. So okay, there we go. So there's the arm. We made some observations about the arm. It was severed. There was an army jack over it. It was on the sidewalk, and I believe I did play with the arm. And when I got home. My father told me that I shouldn't play poke uh, severed arms. Does that sound right, Zach? Yeah, that, that sounds about right. All right, cool. So let's see. Now, I believe it was this way, but I'm not sure exactly what my play is right now. So let's see. It's usually you go in to visit one of the uh, three your friends. Okay. And you can talk to people along the way. Yep, yep. This is where I get a little agency. I'm going to say, nah, nothing really changed. Hmm. Sounds like a perfect life. Yeah, a lot of this game is like people, it's that feeling of like you're stuck in a small town and you have all these dreams of getting out and having this perfect life, but for possible springs that doesn't become a reality for most people right which in fact for anybody who wasn't with us last week it's kind of proven in our our main character's name is is may is it may yeah and may um 
just came back from college, uh, didn't quite succeed in college, and she's just back to her, her old stomping grounds. Yep. That's not very nice. Oh, here we go. Let's see. I guess they want to talk to us. Or, or I want to talk to them. These are the, uh, I guess, the resident business folk. Yeah, they're kind of like eavesdropping in on their conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing the, you know, there's not much too exciting to discuss in in this town. So things like where to put a traffic light become a big. Yep. Uh, I remember. Not in my specific neighborhood, but so I, I grew up in the suburbs of New York City. But I remember, like the town over, had a huge debate about whether or not to put a speed bump somewhere. <laughs> right, it was just like it was like a year of fighting over this one speed bump. Right, right. Oh man. So I'm gonna share in the uh, in the chat the um, the link to the discussion. Um, participate if you're joining us and you're watching later or um, whatever um, or what or playing with us now be sure to check out that discussion thread and, and weigh in there um, one of the things we will be doing is converting this into a, uh, a course on participate so that you can play after the fact and watch all the videos and play along uh and you can actually earn a badge now a digital credential on participate just for watching the twitch stream uh, has anybody earned that yet mike i love i love when you do this sort of thing. <laughs> steve, steve isaacs was the first person to uh to claim his participants uh to earn the uh the digital credential it's a beautiful badge yeah, our graphic designer is great. Layla does an awesome job at this stuff. So the um, so this missing sign, if I recall, this is Casey that we spoke about last week, right, with the friends, and they said that Casey kind of took off, but they made it seem at least like Casey, if I remember correctly, that Casey just kind of kind of left town. Does that sound right. right? Yeah. Yeah. They they said without actually knowing. They just said she probably just ran away because she always wanted to escape, but her mom has been putting out missing posters. Right, regardless. right. Okay, because we didn't see that last time, I don't think. Um, let's go. So th is this the first we're hearing of Dr. Hank? I don't remember that name. Um, I believe so. T and he'll, he'll come up again. Um, but here, okay. like that small conversation of, oh, Dr. Hank does everything and nothing. So the guy <laughs> who fixed someone's leg is apparently also in charge of mental health and helping people in that regard. Right, 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 right. Even though those are two completely separate disciplines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It feels. Gotcha. And hey, Becky, good to see you. Let's see. Oh. All right, then. So let's see what that was all about. Don't even ask. Oh boy, Miss Miranda has locked one of our guys in our basement twice. Oh boy. Sure, that's illegal. Yeah, I don't think that's. Yeah. Oh, so if she gets a bill for it, then she won't do it. So they're going to fine her for locking people up in her basement by accident. little wise guy yeah bay is uh tad sarcastic 
<laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so he'll drive. Woohoo! All right, eight thirty. All right, I, I. Hmm. All right, I'll go home and get ready. Party time. Or so we think. Hmm. All right. So yeah, now you could go home or you could, I believe you can continue uh -huh. exploring a little bit if you want to. I think you can go talk to the other friends. Okay. Um, or you just head home. It, it's really kind of your choice. Right, right. Your choice. The killer thing. Is that the, is this related to the uh, severed arm or is that, no, because that's, they're saying this was something a long time ago. This is something, this, this is something different. Right. So it is kind of interesting and odd that we found a severed arm, but we haven't really resolved that in any way whatsoever yet. Right, so if you remember um, last week, in the very beginning, the police officer says to May, you wouldn't want to end up back in jail. Right, yeah. and now here, the kid is saying, you put that guy into like a coma, right, and no one knows why. Wait, that May did that? Yeah, right, so oh. he's, he's saying, you did that, and my mom told us to stay away from you. Oh, gosh, okay. Somehow I didn't quite grasp that, so thank you. Right, so we're, we're getting these hints of May's... Yes, yeah, so amazing. Past time in high school. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh oh. Oh, here we go, I bet. Nope. Huh. Here we go back to the, the arm. Let's see what he is meaning by that. You're a kid, May. Okay. Even though she is 20. Probably, right. Probably around this time. So it makes me feel, too, that the whatever this <clears throat> other thing that May supposedly did the years ago isn't really a concern of the police necessarily while he's questioning her. Right, but and it but it does show this somewhat like strained relationship where the police officer shows up and May's just like, "What? Why?" Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like, True. Right. Huh? There you go. Are you gonna arrest me? Oh boy! All right. Huh. So yeah, May's got to watch her step, I guess. It is getting dark. So I think you actually ran by your house. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Bay told you not to get lost. <laughs> right, right. Well, you know, I don't have a good sense of direction, so luckily they wouldn't let me by. All right, I'm going to go get uh, all dolled up for the party, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I like tacos. <laughs> Dad's nice and corny. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday. Uh-oh, what happened here? It's go time. Okay, I won't forget. <laughs> oh, yeah, and one of the mechanics of this game is that every morning uh, you could check 
for messages on your computer, and every night you can check for messages on your computer. Right, and then you can play the game yeah, yeah. Demon Tower as well. Yeah, I actually never on my when I played through this game previously, I actually never really got into. I turned it off like a second, and then I just exited out of it. Um, so I, I'd be interested at some point to see what that's like. The game. Yeah, Demon Tower. If I, I mean, I could go to it now, but will we miss the party? Probably not. I don't think you would, but... I don't think so. Either. Let's take a look. Oh, man, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it looked cool, but I remember I was in a rush to try and finish the game. <laughs> right, right. Because this is, this is all optional. Mike likes watching me die, so... Don't die, Steve. <laughs> Why does it have an arrow going that way? Yeah, I got extra life. Oh. Come on. Ah. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't know why the little arrows going down. I'm not sure why they're there. Oh boy. Oh, let's see what we get. Oh, a key. Keys are good in games. It's like adventure. It's making me feel a little nostalgic for some old school Zelda games. Yeah. I just want to see. Oh, here. Maybe this is where the key is for. Look at that. It's the Ender Dragon, Mike. I like it. Got him. Level level two or eleven? I assume two. <laughs> that was more violent than the other kills. <laughs> mm. This is neat, though, how just when you think of, like, it has the little rhythm game, mini game, it has this. Yeah. Oh. Ow. And the main character is Hello Kitty. How do I get in there? Oof. Oop, don't touch that. <laughs> do, 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 do. Now, that doesn't look safe. No, I didn't think so. I'm wondering if this has much, uh, probably not much to add to the story. I'm not sure. I'm sure that there's, if you get to the end, there's probably some kind of. Mm hmm thing around May's like personal growth. Um, but I don't think it'll add to the overall narrative. Right. Just a reminder that this is in fact a video game and and uh... Yeah, I mean this is definitely more video gamey than in the actual game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But now how do I get out? I guess I could probably just can I, oh here we go. 
I will surrender for now. Surrender to the horror. <laughs> it does have a yeah. It's interesting that she's playing this dark game, just for what it's worth to add to the story. Um, let me get out of the computer. I hope I didn't miss the bus to the party. Looking all right. But, all right, let's go. I like this section, get, like touching on self-image mm -hmm. and how one like perceives themselves, mm -hmm. and how we're often like so preoccupied with how we physically look. Now, who's the dialogue? Is it all internal? This is all internal to her speaking to herself. Just seems odd how sometimes the the choices come on the right and sometimes on the left. It makes it seem yeah. like there's another person. Um, All right, let's get out of here. This character definitely leans into the like the angsty teen stereotypes, right? A little mm -hmm. bit. Like the attitude and the conversational style, just it's all Yeah. That like... line I'm be I'm being body positive like the internet told me to. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, people do talk to themselves. Is she quoting things or? Okay, it's time to go. Ah, so she's like, yeah, good luck. <laughs> Here we go. I guess we didn't miss the car. Oh my God, that's a cool, it's uh... mm. a cool image. Look at May's eyes. <laughs> yeah, oh boy. <laughs> Just not like this conversation. <laughs> right. I'm really smart. <laughs> All right, so she might, you know, see an old flame. <laughs> not a fan of beer. not a delicious drink at all <laughs> hear that all you children watching out there <laughs> whatever <laughs> so this is the dude who drove us right uh, yeah <laughs> oh that's cool i bet maybe it's funny, she acknowledges something but doesn't actually mm -hmm. go any further with it. Enjoy the music for a little while. These guys are cooler. My high school never had like parties out in the woods ha. like this. Yeah, I don't know if we did either. <laughs> yeah, what do you think, folks? Should we talk to Cole? What does the studio audience think? We've got sure. Becky. Becky, should I talk to Cole? I'll talk to Cole. Let's see. Yeah, don't be weird about it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Did it say May wrote the song or he wrote the song? I think May, May wrote the song. Okay. It's very fond memories of Cole. <laughs> no, we're not going to drink to get through this. Or are we? 
I think it's going to force you. <laughs> yeah. We're not condoning. Mike's like, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> that, here's one of those horrible adult things, like doing taxes and having babies. All right, here we go, Cole. I'm going to let you have it. It's because they're drinking this cheap keg beer. <laughs> <laughs> they need to go to, like, a craft brewery. <laughs> right, so not all beer is bad. Um, <laughs> they act like they barely know each other. It's probably funny. <laughs> so the, a lot of the beating up the street gang stuff. So I guess there was a little bit of a sordid past. Jeez, is that that's part of the song too, or is it? Hmm. Oof. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. I guess they're just going to repeat that. Nope. Oh. <laughs> She's going to run around naked in the woods. She is drunk. Let's see. So be careful, people watching. All right, here we go. We're going to do it, I think. Come on. All right. Let's see what happens over here now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <T> <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reveals a bit, huh? Yep, and the truth comes out sometimes when people get drunk. Yes, yes. Which also could have a lot to do with those, that odd, that interesting, you know, just the dynamic in that family of, you know, mm -hmm. um, you're not allowed to drink anymore. Good idea. The, the dude is tuning the guitar as part of the background music is so mm -hmm. funny. Yeah. <laughs> mm, maybe she Becky, should sit down. Becky says this looks like a great opportunity for a discussion about good decision making. 100%, yeah. yeah. Teachable moment for sure. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Coolio. Did I tell you guys there was a bat in my house earlier? <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did. Mm. That went okay for you? Well, you know. You got it out. I got it out. There we go. Ooh. Huh. Uh oh. <laughs> See, so <clears throat> B probably has a little bit of May, I mean, has a little bit going on in her head. And yeah, I don't yep. think the alcohol is helping. Hmm. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> line. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
all writing sex and having papers with each other. Ha! <laughs> That's exactly how it works for me. <laughs> and that statue pointing at her every day. Uh, there we go. Uh, Self-esteem is in the gutter, unfortunately. Yep. Right, and as Becky and Chad said about like discussion for good decision making, it to be a conversation how often alcohol like exacerbates any like mm. mental issues, the mental mental health uh, problems that you currently have. For sure. And why it's not always the best coping me mechanism, right. but usually definitely not the best coping mechanism. Right. Right. Ugh. Oh, Coolio. I thought it was Coolio, but that's coal. Oh. That's nice coal. Uh oh. I knew it. I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh. Oh, gross. Maybe she'll feel a little <laughs> better now. I didn't need an actual description of what it was. <laughs> <laughs> They hyped up the tacos earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was foreshadowing. <laughs> right? Is that what we call it in, in, in literature? Yes. <laughs> uh... I don't even know what happened. Uh... Oh. Oh, this is sad. Oh, I wonder how B's feeling. Oh. Hmm. It's funny, the, like, uh, I talk through when I watch movies with my family and I, I get grief for it, but now it's like, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Right. <laughs> um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Here you go. Here she goes. No. You ready for more tacos, Mike? No. I'm kind of craving tacos. I might order uh, something later. <laughs> go for it. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's interesting because they, they graduated together, right? Yeah, they're the same year. So May certainly should know that about her, his mom. Jeez. Hmm. Oh, boy. Huh. It's getting browbeaten. Mm hmm. Whoa. Not cool. Uh, yeah, so like, I was, I was trying to, I didn't remember exactly when that was going to get brought up because I didn't want to spoil anything. But like, it's the idea that Possum Springs is that kind of town that everyone gets stuck in. Mm -hmm. And right? she had and a chance. May, and she had a chance. She got out. And then, like, in a lot of other people's opinions, she just squandered it. And she's yep. now just back there with the people who wanted to leave. Right. Which is really interesting because the flip side of that is that clearly she's got her issues going on and it's like, you know, she's not getting much um, sympathy for what she might be going through. Right. Oh, my gosh. It's funny, uh, Becky, one of the things that drives me crazy is in games when 
you have dialogue choices um, and you choose one, but then the person doesn't seem to say in your mind anyways what the choice actually was. Um, it happens a lot. It used to happen a lot to me in Mass Effect. Uh, uh, there are dialogue choices in Star Wars The Old Republic and also in Dragon Age, the Dragon Age games. And all of those, you choose a dialogue option, but it's not necessarily, that's not what the character actually says. And and I've, I've found that there's a little bit of a dissonance between the two, uh, which mm -hmm. is super interesting. It's interesting here, too, because some of these choices, the choice doesn't seem much different. Like, you know, it's not dramatic in terms of what the choices are. It's like a, a, a slight variation, almost like it's just trying to let the player feel like they're making a choice, but not sure that it matters. Oh, my gosh. Why did I mean? B was that was kind of that was that was that was cold. I'm feeling for May. Oh, gosh. <laughs> mm. So that's the other thing. I guess they all feel like they moved on and yeah. because they were forced to work and whatever, that they're like, you know, again, it goes back to that idea you were saying, um, Zach, about like they, you know, as if she just, you know, threw away this, just was in college, having fun, whatever, and didn't grow up, you know, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't, right. I actually haven't gained really, I've actually, I think, lost sympathy for May. Have you? Yeah. It's interesting. That's very interesting because, I mean, wow. Because I, I don't know. I'm I'm feeling sympathy for her, but I mean, I'm seeing a little bit of, you know, this chaos in her life that is like, um, you know, I don't know. I guess we'll find out more. Yeah, and that, and that's why I'm just, like excited to eventually play this with my students because so many of them. Uh, work full time while in high school. Uh huh. Because so where I teach in the Bronx, New York City, it's a Title One school, so it's lower income. So a lot of my students work full time to help support uh, their families, right? right? And then when it comes time to graduate, a lot of them really need to make this decision if their family can afford them going off to college, and wow. not providing that additional income, right? That's really interesting because, right? So in other words, if they do take that chance they 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 own that that choice um and it really is gosh it's very interesting right so may, may what is it was in a position where she could afford right to go off to college right and then bay is in this situation where she couldn't she got she got stuck there even though she wanted to yeah so i'm guessing she's having a dream right now yeah usually she ends up having dreams uh each night I think you just run to the right. <laughs> okay. I remember. I remember these dreams are actually sometimes they get like more complex each time, and they get harder to navigate. Huh. Which is which is often frustrating, but it, I think that's like part of the point. Hmm. So, Mike, you're in agreement that she kind of just squandered this opportunity and. Yeah. And that, you know, some of the issues that she's been having are, are clearly of her own making, right? Right, right. Hey, you do have a bat, so you can kind of destroy some stuff. As you yeah, see okay. It. And she, like, for example, even, like, her relationship with her parents, you know, in her, like, you know, she's got a pretty crappy attitude mm -hmm. kind of thing. You know, She's obviously had, a, you know, a relationship with the cops and mm -hmm. like, 
like a bunch of other things and it's clear that you know she made bad choices <laughs> you know when yeah like like what um what's her name said you know um she used to be smart but you know she's obviously gotten it's, some things have gotten away from her mm. i think you may need to knock that thing down okay Oof. So this is some sort of dream sequence, right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Maybe we just beat up a demon. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think there are four parts to the game. Uh huh. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, okay, so more, let's see. Uh oh, I hope the messages aren't too bad from last night. Oh, okay. Also, I like the computer because it kind of shows how, especially teens, and I feel like even myself sometimes are better at communicating through messaging or text. Uh, right. Right. So Bay's in the like in the morning sending a message. Oh, I'm sorry about last night. Like, come by, hang out, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You look like crap. Hmm. Let's see where this goes. Hmm. <laughs> What's the age? Well, we just, uh, Amanda, we just went through a pretty mature sequence here. So I, I definitely think, like, you know, junior, senior high school is, like, probably the the lowest I would be comfortable going. What do you think, Zach? Um, yeah, so I teach juniors and seniors, and I definitely think high school, I know whenever people ask this question, I always like defer to um, like common sense media, mm. um, and they've rated, they rate this game 13 plus. Right. Which maybe I could see like eighth graders being fine with it, I think. Well, remember, it's in, I was going to say, it's interesting, too, because there are certain things, like, it's funny, we, we have to be it, we have to be cautious, but also have to have opportunities to expose kids to things for the sake of discussion, right? So, like, the, yeah. the stuff that happened at the party in the woods, it, you know, it's eighth grade is probably when you want kids to see the, the negative consequences, you know, as part of the learning, I think. Right. And these themes aren't things that you want to ignore in middle school either. Like they're right. like they're they're going to be doing this. You know, like we're not going to stop that. So mm -hmm. it's, I think it's important to have those conversations in school in some capacity. That's what I say about like teaching with video games in general, right? They're already playing these things at home. Right. So why are we not tapping into that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ability and skills of theirs and, and my of theirs. Yeah, that, and also, I think there's, and I, 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 this will come up every time we do one of these, I'm sure, but there's that whole thing about 
perception by the public of us doing something or having something happen in a video game, like somehow it's still not regarded as a valid medium like literature yet in my opinion it totally should be and um and it is the best way to reach a lot of these kids so but there's always that like oh you know this fear around what they experience or you know here in a video game is like gonna you know that's not acceptable or something right yeah. Puh. That's, that police comes up again so I guess she wants to run around the power lines now that she can get through there or something. And the mom's like, I don't know about that. So you can actually run on top of the power lines whenever you want outside. Okay. You just you jump up like a tree and then you can just run, run across the top. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Hmm. Very interested to see how her next interaction with B goes. It, one one part of this game that's fun is that um because a lot of the game is op lots of the part aspects of the game is optional and you can kind of choose which way to take parts of the story. Mm. Right. So you get opportunities to hang out with B, Greg, or Angus over the course of the game. And you can basically choose which one you want to hang out with. Because if you choose one, you won't always get to hang out with the other ones. Right. Huh. Right. So the game actually encourages you to play through a couple of times so you can see how, like, May's relationship with each person develops over the course of Oh, that's the game. great. That's how a lot of these, like, the choice-based games should be, right? Mm -hmm. Um So I know what I did is when I when I had played, I spent most of my time with uh, Bay going uh -huh. through it. But then I didn't actually replay it myself, but I went and watched YouTube videos of the other sections that I missed with Angus okay. and Greg. Hmm. Well, that's what I'm interested in. So I'm going to go to where Bay is then. But that's what you said you did anyway. But uh, that's yeah. Right. It's just where my mind goes from that car ride to see what the right, and, that, after and that's effects. what happened with me. I was like, I gotta talk to her. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Huh. Maybe you should journal, May. And that's why you have your journal. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. Like the background music that we got now. So Bay was in there. If you want That's what I thought. Her. I was trying to think yeah, of yeah. if that was where. Okay. Yeah, the, the three of them each work in a different store. Yeah, one's a video store, and this is okay. Yeah. Let's see what <laughs> oh. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, there we go. Huh. <laughs> hmm. 
throw in a little shade. <laughs> so I guess things are fairly smoothed over, but I don't know that I trust it for long. So I think you want to keep going to the left. Okay. Here we go. At 3.53, was that a good place to end it, or is there a better place to end for this week? Um, I believe if you go talk to Greg at the Snack Falcon, it might just take you to band practice. Okay. <laughs> they have the same shirt, but like opposites. And then we can, you, we can stop before or after the band. The band practice would just be like last time. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So like little fight club type thing. Hmm. Yes, so May loves the idea of the fight club thing. So that's where so wait. Uh-oh, Possibilities is gone. That's sad. That's unfortunately like a lot of my neighborhood currently. Oh, yeah? Yep. A lot of small businesses have unfortunately closed. Mm. Well, yeah, right now. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Germ warfare. I like that there's an actual sh stray cat there, even though you're a cat. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's see what... So every time you see Greg, they just he just closes up shop and you go to band practice. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> There we go, I think. All right. Can I... Do I have to wait till certain places where it allows me to... Let's see. It seems like pressing Y is supposed to save and quit, but... I'm running into a weird issue. Let's see. Usually you can just exit out, I think. Yeah, let's, yeah, yeah, I could do it here. I think. Um, okay. Save and quit. Yeah. So, what do you say? We call it a wrap. There. Come back to the band on yeah, next Monday. I, we definitely yeah. learned. We definitely learned a lot today. Mm -hmm. uh, that was that was a little bit different than that hit a little bit different than the last last episode for sure. It's a little, yeah. it's a little heavier. Yeah. Yeah, for so, sure. Really interesting. Lots to talk about there. Uh, so again. Um, you know, please uh, join the discussion. Um, share it there as well, um, so that you can um, weigh in if you have any thoughts on what we've been talking about. And uh, you know, be sure to join us every week uh, as we do this uh, for the next few weeks. Uh, probably at least another three or four, I would think. Um, and uh, I think that that's it. Anything else anyone else wants to add? No. I mean, tomorrow morning, we've got Brad Scheffler with us. We're going to... Schreff, Schreffler. Schreffler. We're going to be doing uh, some cool... I think we're going to bring it back to our... We're going to have to go back to Bedrock, I think, Mike, and go back to our escape room and let uh, Brad do his magic and create the uh, combination lock we were thinking about. Yeah. That'll be great. That'll yeah. be great. All right, everybody. Thanks, Zach, for hanging out Yeah, thanks, out with Zach. Us. And Absolutely. Becky and Amanda and whoever else is out there. <laughs> yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. And uh I think that's it. We'll see you soon. Bye everybody. Right. Bye bye. Hey.